for me, there's uh, there's two main things that, that that have to be there for for work to be interesting, rewarding. I think the first is 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 we we have to be addressing real technical challenges that are actually driven by commercial need. At Element Six, we we have a, a huge amount of that. So all, all of the things that we work on in in the commercial R and D department are typically driven by the requirements of our customers. That they come to us, they may need a, a diamond for a new thermal application or a new optical application and, and the demand really is, is, is from the customer. Properties that, that make diamond such a unique material are the high hardness, very high stiffness, the low coefficient of thermal expansion. All of these properties make it very, very difficult to, to actually integrate diamond in, into these applications. And so from my perspective, that, that makes a very interesting uh, technical challenge. Diamond has a lot of use cases in a lot of industrial applications. What we are particularly excited about at the moment, there are two main areas. One of it is thermal applications. Uh, so Diamond has a great thermal conductivity. So it can be used in high power electronics, but also in optics, uh, where whenever you need to dissipate a lot of heat very quickly. The other thing that uh, is of relevance, especially for the setting for Photonics West, is the uh, quantum applications that are possible with Diamond. Diamond has an optically active defect. In fact, many actually uh, optically active defects. The most famous one is uh, the nitrogen vacancy center. So we have products that they exploit uh, the concentration and the presence of this uh, nitrogen vacancy center in the crystalline structures that can be used for magnetometry, for sensing, and for uh, quantum communication and quantum computing. Diamond has some exceptional properties, uh, and some of those, they are uh, relevant of relevance of photonics. Again, uh, we, we can uh, talk again about the main application areas that I mentioned before. So if we look at the thermal application, uh, Diamond has a, an extremely high thermal conductivity on the excess of 2,000 watt per meter per Kelvin. So there, uh, again, Using Diamond as a heat spreader uh, can be the, uh, the game changer that can enable a particular application. It also has a, a very low optical uh, absorption, uh, so for a wide range of laser and optical application it's uh, very important. Working with our partners, we typically take a very customer-centric approach, regardless of whether a customer comes to us needing a standard product or a prototype or, or a package of R&D work. We're always aiming to, to build a good relationship with them and uh, to, to take the, the R&D work as, as an example. In that particular case, we, we try and get our technical guys uh, in, in good communication with uh, the technical team at our customers. Um, just just to, to try and make sure that we have as good an understanding of the, uh, of the requirements of, of the product that we're developing. Make sure that we, we communicate um, any, any challenges that we might be having with, with um, you know, manufacturing the diamond modifications to the diamond properties to, to meet the particular customer application. And also to, to make sure that if, if any of the requirements change through the development process, uh, those, those technical teams are talking and, and that gets addressed very, very quickly. For the quantum side of the diamond world, I mentioned before the nitrogen vacancy center. So the advantage there is that we have this defect that it is well isolated in the crystal lattice that we can address with uh, lasers and microwave and then collect the light that, that gives us information for the uh, magnetic field in the case of sensing or uh, for the state of the electron qubit that then can be, that can be used for uh, quantum communication and quantum computing. I think the other thing for me is, is to, to be working with a, a lot of very capable uh, and engaged um, colleagues. And, uh, and at Element 6, I, I, I work uh, across a, a broad range of departments from operations, R&D, sales, and, and actually there's a huge amount of talent at Element 6. And without a doubt, every, everyone is, is working together to, to try and solve the problems that our, our customers uh, have.